that you made it a point to try to get the energy up in the first quarter and then the shots just continued to not fall. I think it was 0 for 10 from three as a team in the first. What, it's three games in a row now in the first. What can you do to kind of break that cycle? Like I said, from the obvious, like a, an early shot goes down. How do you guys get out of that? Yeah, make shots. Is that obvious? Is there anything else you, you've noticed that's a, that's a pattern of these last three games? Uh, teams are daring us to shoot the ball from the outside, and we're not making. LeBron, um, I guess, how does this team find confidence or a, a, an attitude on the court um, when things have been so rough? And, and, and do you find that kind of lacking, um, sort of that an edge, I guess, that, that you guys that you guys kind of need to play with? No, I thought we had an edge tonight, which is not make shots. Um, I mean, like you said, we started the game 0 for 10, but we climbed back into the game, um, you know, all game. I mean, we all scored in 31-19 in the third, but I mean, it still boils down to making shots, and we didn't make enough shots consistently tonight. But I thought our effort, I thought uh, the way we played, I thought our commitment to the defensive end, and we held them to 44% shooting, um, and but we, you know, they made 17 threes compared to our 10, um, you know, and that was part of the game. When you guys are in the first half, I think down 25 or something like that, and it, I mean, it looks like it could get really bleak. But I mean, where where is that fight coming from at this point? Because there's still more game to be played. I mean, you know, the game is never over till it's over. So um, you don't have to look too far. You just know it's more more game to be played and continue to execute, continue to get stops, and that's what we did in the second half. Um, Frank was telling us that I think you guys were four for 23 on open threes. Um, is there anything you put your finger on, on on why those shots aren't going down? Is it legs? Is it confidence? Is it I mean, or is it just a mixed bag? No, just make. That's all. You just gotta make shots. It's and, not rocket science. You make shots. And um, you know the the way that these last couple first quarters have gone for you in the last three games is, is it hard to just not let some of that frustration leak out on the other end? No, because I liked our effort tonight in the first quarter. Um, I didn't love our effort in Toronto. Um, I didn't love our effort, whatever the game was before that. But I love the way we was playing the game today. And we literally got 10 great looks to start the game. And I'm going to tell them from the perimeter, we got some very, very good looks. And we was defending our butts off um, versus a team that's capable of putting 50 on you in a quarter. Um, so. Um, I was fine with the first quarter that we played, which is in make sure we scored 17 points. Uh, th there were various points throughout the game where there seemed to be a lot of trash talk from their side. Did, did you notice that? Were you, I guess, surprised by that? It's part of the game. Yeah. Michael Culver on Zoom. Hey, Coach, uh, no, Michael Culver on Zoom. Hey, LeBron, uh, how important is watching film been over the course of your career? Do you still study a lot of film at this point in your career? Uh, yeah, every opponent um, that we play, I study them. I study every individual. Uh, study what they like to do, what they don't like to do. Um, so yeah, that's uh, going to be a part of my routine until uh, until I hang them up. LeBron, you're used to winning. You're not used to a team struggling like this. I'm wondering how hard is it to maintain patience and I guess where's your frustration level with with how things have been going? Um, I mean, absolutely. But um, at the end of the day, you keep pushing forward. Um, I'm very comfortable with being uncomfortable, so it doesn't bother me too much. Obviously, I mean, I'm a competitor. I want to win. Uh, you definitely get frustrated with some things that happen on the floor, uh, but you control what you can control, and what you can't control, you don't worry about it. You continue to push forward, seeing ways you continue to get better, um, seeing ways you can be, you know, great for your ball club. Uh, continue to see ways you continue to lead, and you know it's easy to be, you know, comfortable when you're winning. Um, you know, I'm not, I've never been that guy, so um, it's all about how comfortable can you be when things become uncomfortable. So I'm okay with that too. It is hard, like, for someone you're so used to controlling so much of the game and have been so great at it for so long, it d and there's a lot that's out of your control. How hard is it to deal with that? Uh, well, I mean, listen, um, there's a lot of great teams in this league, and uh, for me, I just try to put guys in position, you know, every single night to be successful to help our ball club. Um, sometimes they go well this year, 
the majority of the time they haven't. So, um, but it doesn't stop the way I approach the game. And the last question is Andy Kamineski on Zoom. Hello, LeBron, you've talked before about how every season uh, presents different challenges for you as a leader. What specifically has been this year's challenge for you? How, how have you approached it given the way the season's coming? Um, you know, I think every season for me is all about patience. And, um, you know, and it's no different this year. I think it's just testing my patience a little bit more than, you know, any season in, in the uh, in the last few years, um, you know, just because of the way we're playing. And, um, you know, the loss is coming, you know, at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a bunch. Um, and so, you know, it's... Um, you know, testing your patience and, and how you can continue to, uh, you know, keep the focus out on the floor, um, figure out ways how you can, you know, be better for your teammates um, and not fall into the um, into the notion of uh, a losing mentality. So, um, you know, that's what it's pretty much all about um, because at the end of the day, you know, um, I would never ever put myself in a position where, you know, I feel like I'm losing even when I lose a game, so, you know.